Good morning, welcome and welcome back to this channel. Today I'm gonna be drawing with a pencil. Why pencil? Because、uh, I've been drawing for a while and realized that I need to improve basic skills. Of course, there are many types of basic skills to draw realistically. In my case,、uh, I need to improve my perception of dark and light. For example, as for good painters, when they look at、uh, good pictures, they can recognize 20 or 30 grades of tones. But for me, maybe less than 10. In order to reproduce realistic paintings, looking at、uh, reference photos, of course, the colors are important. But the tones are more important, so that's why to improve my perceptual ability, this time I focus on just、uh, pencil drawing. Let's enjoy together. Today's theme is refine your third principle. Why is it the third? Because you come up easily with the first two in your life. The first is rule or law. Somebody in your country or in your community defines. If you violate it, you have to go to jail or pay fine. And the next, the second is moral. It's also called like a manner or ethic. It's not clearly defined, but they are in the country, in the community. These two things, two rules, two principles. Anyway, are naturally incorporated in your life. Today, I like to talk about next one, the third principle. Everybody has it, a huge or small. And、uh, when you get older, it changes. And you might have some principles and、uh, choose the best depending on the situation. For example, when you are a kid. Your principles might be: I do this because my mom and my dad told me to do. For most people, these are the first principles. And when you get a little older, your principles might be: I do this because everyone do this, or my close friends told me to do this. I guess during your adolescence, you have this principle. And after becoming a university student or started working, your status or money is gonna become much more important. But after that, the balance between money and time will be more important. When you get older, money is not necessarily the most important thing for your life. But for some people, only status. Must be important. What do you think? What's your third principle? Today, like I said, I want you to refine this third principle, improve it. I don't want you to just to live for money or status. Of course, they might be essential for happy life to a certain degree. However, if you live only for money or status, You get stuck. You will never be satisfied with your life. You might be wondering what else can we have apart from money or status. Actually, there are many. For example, I do this because it's exciting. Very simple. Don't think about future or meaning. And another principle I often use is because it's unforgettable. Why do I have this principle? Because I believe that on the last day of your life, when you look back your own long life, whether you feel your life was happy or not, really depends on how much unforgettable memory do you have. That's one of my beliefs. So when I have two options and both look good to me, I choose the one that looks more unforgettable. I highly recommend this. Another recommendation is to the action. Depending on the amount of happiness it's gonna make, when you have several options to take, but、uh, all of them look almost same for you, in this case, I'm gonna choose the one which gonna make 
the most happiness among my family, for the people around me, for people in the world. This, the last one, the amount of happiness, is so far my most important principle. I'm not sure if I have the same principle in 10 years or in 20 years. It's normal that when you are younger, you only think about yourself. But when you get older and uh, when you realize your future is uh, becoming less and less, you will feel like uh, leaving something to your kids, to your community, to your country, and next generation. This is not only for selfless people. You need to be changing your principles depending on your life stage. Anyway, if you have refined this third principle, you will lose less time on every decision in your life and you can behave much more confidently. Well, it's almost done. I've realized that with this pencil, controllable medium, it's still difficult for me to draw details but I believe good painters have good sensitivity of their fingers or hands. One of the reasons of their constant practice is also to improve the sensitivity. I haven't done so much practice yet, that's why I realized that I need to practice more. Anyway, that's it today. I hope this video inspired you a little bit. If you like, let's enjoy drawing together. See you next time.